Thanks, Ted. It's Thursday night. Time to go to hockey school with Ron Futrell. In tonight's icebreakers, we look at some of the most basic elements of the game. Yeah, here's what we got here for you. Okay, the stick and the puck. Just use these to score more times than your opponent, and you win the game. There's it. There's your hockey lesson for the day. Do I need to keep going? Yes. Oh, I'm supposed to go a minute and a half on this one. Okay, so, so here's, here's more for you. Is it simple just to say very hard rubber and it gets harder when it's frozen? It gets harder when it's frozen and it gets really hard when it hits you at 100 miles an hour. You've been hit. I've been hit everywhere. <laughs> Every single place in my body has been hit by that thing. I got a terrible um, slap shot to the face that crushed the whole side of my face. And well, it looks like Murray's face has survived, okay? Oh, plus there's this, okay? There was a time in the 17th century before vulcanized rubber when they used frozen road apples as pucks. Look it up. Found it on Wikipedia. Well, today's pucks make stick handling a bit easier. So the puck also has some, these grips on the side. I'm, I'm assuming to, mm -hmm. to get it to stick to the stick. Yes. Is that the, that yep. the idea? Yes. Gives you a little bit of a, a grip. And then we generally have tape on our sticks. These are brand right. new sticks. So we haven't taped them up. But it allows that puck, obviously when that puck flies like a, a disc, like a Frisbee almost, it goes faster rather than if it's wobbling. So the idea of that, of the grip, was to be able to handle the puck a little bit better and, and have that puck spin off the stick. As for the hockey sticks, well, today they use fancy stuff like carbon fiber and Kevlar. There's no more wood anymore. I mean, the sticks used to be wood. These are all uh, composite, and they're like a, a surgical tool. tool. <laughs> I mean, the only reason that you can shoot the puck how you can now is with these. There's no way if you had wood sticks, you guys could shoot the puck like they do now. Oh, the wood sticks. They were sort of interesting back in the day. In fact, it was before the games, they would take and shape the wood on the end of the sticks about 20 years ago. And it was, it was a pretty interesting part of the game to see how they would shape them, heat them up, move them, shape them, and bend them, and that sort of stuff to, uh, to do that. And I brought uh, hockey puck made in um, Slovakia. Okay. I hmm. was going to bring the road apple in, but I couldn't, fi I couldn't, couldn't find, find any frozen. I couldn't find frozen ones. Yeah. Just jockeying that you couldn't find that in Las Vegas. Uh, <laughs> okay, right, thank thanks, you. Sean. And we will be right back with a look at bacon and try it before you buy it. Just a moment.